Uh, sound speed. I the frame yet, so. Oh, it's okay. We'll check the, the second. Scene okay. one, take one, marker. Dude, I think my ears are ringing. Well, they probably are. Is that a pregnancy symptom? Tinnitus? No, I think it's just my life after Taylor Swift concerts. I thought you meant tonight is. Really? Yeah. What did he just say? He has tinnitus. I don't know what that is. Is it's that where you hear ringing? ringing? In your ear, yeah. God, that would be infuriating. Does it eventually become like white noise? No, I don't think so. Yikes. Yeah, I think my mom has tinnitus too. You think or you know? Uh, she says she has it. You look like you're going to a formal event. Thanks. Oh my God, I think I can see your bump for the first time ever. Thanks. How many weeks? 13. Wow. So, so you probably can't. I... <laughs> I'm just fat now. <laughs> Do you want to be not? Should we start the episode with gratitude or should we come in hot the way that you were just accusing me right before we started rolling? That's Everything true. I was doing today was upsetting her. That's not true. I tucked in this shirt because it's a little too big okay, for me. Stand up. Pre wash. No, stand up. <laughs> I said, there's no way you're wearing your fucking shirt tucked in because it's disgusting. Well, of course, I would I would never wear a shirt like this in public, but you all can't see it. It's out of frame. And Honestly, I, 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 that's fair because me out of frame is also a mess. I wash my clothes in hot water and dry them on high heat so that they form fit to me. Uh huh. So I haven't had a chance to do that with this farmer merch you just yet. You feel really loud. I, I can see the pants a little. Do you want me to crop it? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> I, never, That's, I literally so loud. Oh, okay, or is it because I'm screaming? I, I can't tell what I, it is, but it's too much for me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Is that better for you? Yeah, that's good. Or am I just not screaming any longer? I can't tell. Oh, I didn't even set up the document. And oh. then she starts accusing me because I was like, I've had such a... Sh Last week, Lizzie was very late, so I said, get here at ten twenty instead of ten thirty, and. Then, of course, the week that she arrives right on time, which is early, I have a super chaotic morning because it's like a contractor party out here and they all want my attention. Isn't that crazy? I would like to motion, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> the fact that... Could you get my allowed to say this on air? I mean, if you Lizzie is acting like I was literally saying I love because I had met with so many drainage contractors and this guy was just like an angel sent from heaven to me. And See, I told he keeps Lizzie saying things like that. I told Lizzie I, I love, love this man. This man. And he Lizzie says. has now gone on blast with. Are you kidding me? It's really loud. I, I should, don't. Here, I, maybe it's because I cleaned my put ears you out on recently. The main microphone headset. Do you know how long I just worked to get okay. this headset okay. on? <laughs> okay. I could probably just change it around. Sorry, everyone. Oh, I hear nothing now. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, no. It's the mic. Okay, that's a little more realistic oh, to what it is. Oh, that's way better. So that's everyone's audio, not just yours. Oh, my yours. God, that's so nice. Wow, See, what if you've I been would... hearing this show in a different way. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> That's crazy. Well, now I just gave you the master audio. And you know what? Thank you so much for that. So what were we talking about? Oh. Your affair. How? Your illicit affair. You do affair. this every time. Like when we ran into my Tech ex, talk. she's like, now he's cheating with his ex on shit. I'm like, no, I'm not. I don't know why everything I to Elizabeth is an affair. I never said you were cheating so, with your ex, but that hug. So I was like, oh, the contractor's here. And Lizzie's like, oh, the one you're in love with. And then proceeds to tell Chris that I'm basically having a, having an affair with my drainage contractor. And she goes, he, she texts, he texts me. His about it drainage all night. contractor <laughs> that does sound wild right it does uh and Sent she goes from heaven he's been he loves this man he's been texting me all the time about how he loves this man i was like i don't leave paper trails because <laughs> really i am fear he won't text no you don't you no won't i text don't me about every, anything. Time every time Lizzie... i send him a message he's like i you know i can't talk about this well because she always wants to like talk shit on text messages and I'm like I'm gonna block you like I'm <laughs> dead seriously gonna block you because you're worried about being hacked of course I've been my dick is in the inner is everywhere oh, right, because right. I've been hacked someone before. hacked my Ticketmaster account oh I'm so sorry no but isn't that crazy <laughs> do you think they thought I had tickets in there that they could have well they probably thought you had a linked credit card to it so they could nice buy try guys tickets. I don't even have a credit card really yeah you don't no I'm not good with credit cards because I feel like it's a gift like I feel like the money's a gift and then when I have to pay it back I feel really wronged but it's really nice if you can be responsible then you can set it up to auto pay, uh, pay every yeah. month and then you can use those points for everything for flights yeah on Apple no I've heard on the spiel Amazon. I'm still a crazy person who <laughs> feels wronged and doesn't want to pay hey I, no I'm all I for recently it. became okay with paying if my you're, taxes if you're not <laughs> Like, this is not something I'm cool with. You know what I mean? Everyone's like, you need a credit card to be on credit. And it's like, I, I paid off all my debt. Like, I don't really want to owe the, anybody anything anymore. And then Lizzie will also send me, like, she'll shit talk people like celebrities on Instagram. And I'm just like, stop. 
stop she'll like send me a post and then commentate beneath it and i'm like this is the number one place we're gonna get hacked so then i threatened to block her all the time i feel like you're inviting a hack right now i'm not because you probably delete all our messages well there's i live every time you send me something bad i delete it and then i block you i recently i I probably i deleted all our messages yesterday yeah because you were being wild what was i saying even oh i remember that's not for the pod (laughs) we'll talk about it when we walk the dogs later (laughs) Are you going to talk about? Not yet. No? No. You've gone so hard so long, you can't pull out now. We'll, we'll talk about it on the dog walk. Are you sure? Yeah. But if you're, if you're, if it's happening, then you have to announce. I haven't spoken to other people involved yet. So I want to just be careful. This about is that. wild. I know. But she'll text me on Instagram about it. Like, I that's know, a safe this space. This was a regular phone text. Like, that's a safe this space. This was a regular phone you text. You act like any. This was a regular phone text. I s- I think everyone needs to just beware because our phone, I don't even like speaking when my Instagram app is open because they listen to us. It's spooky. I kind of want to delete my Instagram app. <laughs> I've fallen now. Now, instead of watching TikToks that I legitimately enjoyed, I'm watching reels that I don't give a fuck about. Are you still off TikTok? Yeah. And I'm watching reels that I don't give a fuck about in the same way I used to watch TikToks. But like the difference is like, I'm not enjoying it, myself at all is your algorithm just bad on instagram because um, isn't it the same my thing? algorithms it's a lot of babies and now it's a lot of like christian mother things which is an, a confusing thing to come up in my feed specifically well if you keep watching them in there i entirety. don't i like i it's i couldn't scroll fast enough like i appreciate it and all and i think that people who have a profound faith are like really cool and all of that is very but what are they beautiful. talking about in regards to being mothers that are oh christian? it's just the, it's the same thing but it's like a different mom with the same like beautiful beautiful creamy aesthetic saying like you know my kid may get into harvard but if they don't get into heaven i failed and i'm like i don't think my kid's going to either place (laughs) (laughs) no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding my kid's going to heaven of course but like i'm not tripping on college you know so outdated it's a big waste of money it's a big scam unless you're already rich and successful you're you're not going to get rich and successful getting into that kind of unless you just have unless it's a trade that you have to go to college for yeah i agree okay yeah so you had your second oh my god what we're now allowed to say the gender of your i don't baby. know if we are what i'm you're upset not, what you're not posting it well first of all it feels as though rylan posted a gender reveal for me oh my god i am so cautious and so scared about this in general that i'm going to give up one of your secrets and then she'll text me all the time being like they know because of you and then it's always it's like, here's a, the deal. a false alarm in and real life all worked in up. real life i'm not authentically upset with you i'm more upset with the audience <laughs> To be real. She was really mad at you guys last I'm yesterday. I'm really having a hard time with your audience, specifically Ryland Adams, because <laughs> he posted a vlog on Sunday, as he's wont to do, uh-huh. and we were at Universal Studios, and th- we didn't know the gender of my baby. No. My whole vlog at Universal Studios is about how I don't know the gender of my baby. Let's try these old wives' tales. And then people watched Ryland's vlog, and at one point, we're just like joking on the escalator escalator did i say that weird whatever Mm -hmm. who cares and rylan goes so he's a virgo and i go yeah we didn't know what the gender was no and now 50 million comments are like wow rylan spilled the beans we know the gender which is crazy that i even said that because i at that point was so firmly believing with all of my body that you were having a girl yeah so it well but i was screaming at you all day it's a boy I know it's a boy. You know what I mean? Like, I just kept saying, do you remember that? Like, all, I, I even in the whole video from the gender, like my whole gender old wives tale predictor thing. Yeah, you believed it was yeah. a boy. So then the one time where I just said, oh, so he's a Virgo, just trying to understand the moon sign of yeah. this child. And then everyone's like, oh, it's a boy. And the only reason it's fucking annoying is because- It is a boy. It is a boy. So fuck all of you. <laughs> you ruined it. You ruined it. And I felt so bad. I was like, should I try to edit that one little part out well, of the video? Well, and this is like should the I- second time because on Shane's podcast, you opened the podcast that I was on by saying, it's a boy. Which is we also didn't know we're just insane people <laughs> and, who do this <laughs> and it's crazy that ever because I've always like there was like the smallest <laughs> smallest fraction of yeah. time where I thought it was a boy I was like two weeks pregnant on Shane's so podcast the two <laughs> most public places that I've screamed it's it, a boy it was accurate yeah <laughs> and I'm like that was God 
<laughs> he was like telling me it's a boy. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's not your fault. It's the audience's fault for not paying close enough attention. Or did they pay too close attention? No, they didn't pay close enough attention because if they had, they would have known we didn't know the gender. So it's not a slip. I know. But I it feels like a slip because all of you are like, he slipped. And I watched that video three different times before I uploaded it, making changes to it. I never had the feeling it was a slip until I read the comment section. And that's why I'm annoyed with the audience more than I am with the video. Do you know I could have just bleeped me saying like oh so he beep is but why would you because we didn't know i had no that's i that's what i'm saying like why would you we didn't know when we shot that we video I, it's annoying because it came out <laughs> after we did know yeah. even though in linear time is that yeah i guess don't right. talk to me about time frames <laughs> whatever here's the other thing that enraged me oh yeah this is grinding her gears really grinding my <laughs> fucking gears so rylan and i tried a food that was on the menu at a Mexican place at Universal Studios. The menu item on the menu by Universal Studios, not us, is titled a tostada. So we keep referring to it as a, a tostada. Because they called it a tostada. <laughs> a tostada. We wouldn't have come to that on our own. Okay? We don't jump to conclusions. <laughs> all right? We would have just called it an open-faced taco if it was up to us, you guys. So number, So stop it. Everyone in the comment section is like, Sandy and Chris got to tell you that's a sopa. <laughs> and it's like, your beef is not with us. Okay, hold on. Chris, what's the difference between a sopa and a tostada? Is the sopa with a little edge? First off, I'm not Mexican. So right? I'm the wrong yeah, he's person. Peruvian. So fuck you in the comment section. But you don't even know him. told me it was all under the same umbrella. Not well, I am, I am Latino, but our food is completely different. Yeah. <laughs> it's a oh, here I get canceled again. <laughs> but it's no, a, like your audience said no, ask no, Chris no, no. and Sandy. I thought they I told you to ask. You made a yeah. reasonable assumption. You did nothing wrong. We did nothing wrong. We read the fucking menu. I also love Mexican <laughs> food, and I could google and show you a picture i can't in detail tell you the difference <laughs> well i'll have to Sounds ask Sounds like everyone needs to jump on yelp and talk to universal studios because it's not our problem <laughs> you also had a lot of comments saying people just generally don't like me and i was less annoyed by those wait than I was really yeah. i i thought you you were great in my vlogs i think that's because you like me <laughs> well no i i don't know i think when you're consuming and watching something, if there isn't someone to dis... I think you're more interesting because you have a strong viewpoint. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, Christopher? I clarify. Did I say sopa? It's sope. <laughs> it's sope. Yeah, it's not... Pa. I'm Googling. See? I've ne By the way, I didn't even hear about this until Can a year ago because I'm not Mexican. <laughs> Can you show me a picture of a sope? Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know if we're saying it right. We should Google. I really feel like it's a sopa. Someone called Are you Sandy. sure that it was on the menu as a tostada? Absolutely positive because so why would you is... and I have called it that? Because we're idiots. This no, but where would sope. we come up with that word? Oh, you know what? And I was similar. I wish it was made out of flour. I know it's not traditional. Flower, I'm just a flower girl, you know? Am I awful to say that it doesn't look polar opposite from a tostada? Well, the tostada, I think, is just Because this flat. is a tostada, which is on a tort like a flat, crunchy right. tortilla. I think the sope, the sope must on... just have an edge. This is going to spark more drama and more debate in the comment section <laughs> about what's Engagement's what. Engagement's great. <laughs> <laughs> I know that they're different. This is what it comes down to. All of it's delicious. <laughs> this one at Universal was not. No. Mexican, oh, sucks. Mexican food sucks. is my favorite. When white people make it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Mexican food is my number one choice in food styles. It's the best thing ever. All right. We're going to have to look at this later. Okay. You can Sorry. come back when we go to the car. We'll have answers. I might literally go to Universal Studios just to see what the menu says. Because I'm positive you and I wouldn't have jumped to calling it a tostada had it not been labeled that. So people didn't like you in the vlog. But I wouldn't have oh, been any that <laughs> <laughs> i think did they like you on shane's podcast yes i think so wow i mean i don't know i can't, i stopped reading the comments because i'm pregnant and crazy and i started just messaging people fuck you no <laughs> yeah it's nuts <sighs> sometimes when i send you those screen grabs of what i want to say like i'm sending it <laughs> i'm full sending it and i will always she'll send me things like she's threatening to say it and i say go for it you're not the thing is do. with the internet you're not going to change anyone's mind no like they're going to hear what they're going to hear they're going to come to their own conclusions and me even with in regards to anything yeah. i could comment back clarification but that person has already made up their exactly. opinion so i just let them have their opinion and live happily in my happy headspace right hey deborah <laughs> <laughs> okay so i you hope you have your, a good week so you're having a boy its name is we're not saying <laughs> 
<laughs> You're no fun. I don't really know. Well, here's the deal. Someone else in the comment section was like, Ryland gave all of his information away and he must be so annoyed. Lizzie's not sharing anything. Bitch, I announced my pregnancy here. Are you fucking stupid? Anyway. Also, it's everyone's own personal choice how they want to go about whatever they do. Yeah, I, right now at this point, I don't really want to say his name because I'm scared people are going to like steal his identity. Which is probably a crazy fear. I mean, everyone knows our name. Like, I don't know yeah. that that's... And I'm scared. And what are they going to do with the baby's name? I don't know. What are you doing, Chris? <laughs> listening to the same soap. <laughs> is it soap? Eh? It doesn't I'm seem... Still listening. Different. I haven't got there yet. <laughs> How long is this a pronunciation? I don't know. It's taking a long time. Uh, that's insane. Sopis. 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 Okay. Well, you got there. All right. Um, Where were we? It's so pace. <laughs> no, about <laughs> what were we talking about? Today's podcast is sponsored by Collective. And if your business of one is an LLC and you're tired of paying those high tax bills, then it's time to speak to Collective's tax experts before the IRS deadline of March 31st to see if an S Corp is right for you. So if your business of one is making at least $60,000 in profit annually, then you could be missing out on thousands in tax savings every year. With Collective, the S Corp tax election is saving its members on average of $10,000 per year. Collective is an all-in-one financial solution for self-employed entrepreneurs that will handle your taxes, bookkeeping, and payroll, all for a fraction of the cost of a CPA. I myself run my business through an S-Corp, and I think it's amazing to get set up with Collective. Right now, they are waiving their onboarding fee. When you go to collective.com slash SIP and tell them SIP sent you, that's $199 value waived and a full year of S Corp savings when you go to collective.com slash sip and tell them sip sent you. That's collective.com slash sip and tell them sip sent you. Today's podcast is sponsored by Rocket Money, which I use and love so much. At the end of a busy week, the last thing I want to do is spend my time thinking about finances. So thankfully, I have Rocket Money that does all of that for me. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. I'm positive a lot of you have recurring charges for subscriptions you have no idea about, and that is another feature I love about Rocket Money. You can literally see everything in one place and hit cancel right there in the app, and you don't have to do anything else. I personally love that on my dashboard, it shows me my month's spending compared to last month's, so I can clearly see my spending habits, and Rocket Money can help you create a custom budget to keep your spending on track. Rocket Money will even negotiate to lower your bills by up to 20%. And all you have to do is submit a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. They'll deal with customer service for you. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of 500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving its members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash sip that's rocketmoney.com slash sip rocketmoney.com slash sip and then last night lizzie texts me with her full name of her baby girl and i said elizabeth let's focus on the boy first and she goes well 1.5 years i'm having a girl and i said let's just have one to start all right says you who went full tilt boogie with two at the gates i know and i i <laughs> I don't regret anything, but I also, even if with having one baby, you don't know what you're signing up for. No, you, I know. It you, just, when we were talking about names previously, we had picked a very cute girl's name. So I was excited to have a girl in the future as well. To, and because I, and I figured out her full name. And now you've come up with the middle name. Yeah. You have the last name. Mm -hmm. You're ready to party. Uh -huh. But I'm just like, I try not to be one of those girls where I doomsday people that are expecting children because it's. It's none of my business, quite frankly. And everyone's going to have a very different experience. Some people love every element of motherhood, fatherhood. Some people don't. But I was just like, wow, you're really going to go without having this one? You say that you're going right in, back to back with well, a second? Well, my dumbass used to think it would be like getting shot in the hand. And I was thinking if I get I've told you this before, but I don't think I've said this on yeah. TV, whatever this is. <laughs> If I'm going to get shot in the hand, right? I'm going to want to get shot back to back. Like, I don't want that wound to heal and, and then... then reopen it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was my mentality. But then I talked to some other women who have had multiple children. And they were like, having them back to back can be really dangerous. 
Well, I just feel like mentally it would be a lot. I saw an yeah, Instagram. Yeah, I mean, it, no, it's going to be awful. I saw an Instagram post that being pregnant is the equivalent of running a marathon oh, or I'm, doing crazy. I'm so fucking tired and I'm so unwell all day and my <laughs> back hurts and I'm not even showing. Like, why does my back hurt if I'm just getting fat fat? <laughs> You know, like, what's that about? I can't go to the gym, so I'm not sleeping good. Up all night, just resenting people. When I do force you to go out and walk, though, I, I feel, feel better like when I it walk. is good. Yeah. I keep zooming and tilting, but I still see your jeans. Oh. Uh, <sighs> do you want to just hold a pillow in front of your crotch? Should I just make do you, them lower? You could unbutton your pants. <laughs> Should I fold them down? Yeah, Like all them. those girls? Yeah. Do you want me to get B-roll of the fold? No, I'm fine. Okay, so <laughs> how was the ultrasound? so cute i can't believe it went from a blueberry to a human yeah it's a it's a fucking baby crazy it's a fucking baby i didn't have this or i wasn't present for this ultrasound during our pregnancy Mm -hmm. our surrogate's pregnancy so to see it just from a little dot in your belly a gummy bear to what looks like a full-blown human with no neck crazy crazy when your baby turned it was also an alien an alien horrifying horrifying face when he looked a horrifying, right, face. horrifying face he like at some point looks at what see, it's like he's looking at the camera like hey but when he does because the way the ultrasound works is this is a specific ultrasound where they want to check the chambers of the heart and the halves of the brain to mm-hmm. make sure that they're all forming well uh, joe was adopted and we don't know his genetic history so we're doing a lot more genetic testing and that means we're getting a few more anatomy scans with our um pregnancy so it can see through his little face and you can just see his like the budding skull and it's horrifying <laughs> but it's also kind of cute and i was it's kind of like a devastating thing to do like you're going in and you've gotten this blood test and they've already said don't worry your blood test is all normal and then you get there and they go you know sometimes the blood tests are wrong and then you're like why did you open with that <laughs> I hate that they Why did that. you open with that? It's what? Why did you say that? And what? And so then they sit there in utter silence because it's just an ultrasound technician and they can't weigh in on the diagnosis or whatever the measurements that they're doing mean. So then we're all, we're Joe sitting there. His heart's racing because now he's like, great. Uh, nothing's what I thought it was. My baby might not be okay. And they're just quietly taking these measurements and we're both tripping because they keep pausing the ultrasound to take a picture. So I, my heart sank because I was like, he's not moving. And you Why don't want to talk moving? because then it moves your stomach. Yeah, and because I'm, uh, I speak from the diaphragm, and it <laughs> <laughs> it jiggles the tum. Because like the first one we got, like I could barely see him because I was crying, and my stomach was just going. <laughs> <laughs> and every time that would happen, you can't see him anymore. And you have something inside of you. Yeah. Right? No, oh. this was not a vaginal one. Thank God. We're to think we're done with that life. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Anyway, so Joe's tripping. Also, Joe had done the daddest thing. We were leaving the house and he was wearing, he has this shirt that has Dog the Bounty Hunter's face on it, but it says Taylor Swift underneath it. And Taylor Swift's like Reputation. iconic handwriting. Oh. No, like the debut Taylor Swift. <laughs> and I was like, you're going to wear that to the ultrasound? And he goes, yeah, I just figured that it would start a conversation. And I was like, that's really sweet. And I love that for you. And it makes me love you. And it's a very dad move to try and be funny like that at an ultrasound. And then we left and Joe was in a straight panic because he couldn't get out of the panic even after they were like, your baby measures normal. He has four chambers of his heart. He has two halves of his brain. He's got all his little fingies and all his little toes. They were like, he's good. Everything measures like there's no bad signs. And Joe was like just so deeply in his anxiety that he was like, I wish that they could have just said something like sooner because now I can't get out of this feeling. And I was like, I get it. Like, I get it. And he's like, and no one said anything about my shirt. (laughs) <laughs> and it's an obnoxious shirt like it's begging it's for a loud. comment it's begging it's for somebody loud. to say wow nice shirt yeah. no one said anything <laughs> no one was like <laughs> you know like no giggles <laughs> nothing poor guy wow isn't that sad it is pregnancy scary and yeah. i wasn't even pregnant and it was scary it's just you you're hoping and praying that every step of the way everything's okay because there's so many unknowns and at, like for some reason the doctor's knee-jerk response is always like so you might have cancer don't freak out <laughs> i need you to not stress stress is going to give you cancer if you don't already have it and then it's like what why did you open with if i don't already have it i could Ooh, this is why i'm in a bad mood this morning honestly because i have to go get an another like a cervical scan called a coloscopy or something like that which is like a deep dive into the cervix 
And I like I was looking it up online and it's like it says it's super painful and can make you bleed. And I'm and like, it's why is it necessary for you to have? Because they want to make sure I don't have cervical cancer, which is really annoying. Why do they think that you do? Because I there, I took a test in November, like just on a regular pap smear. Nothing visually was abnormal, but I tested positive for HPV, which everybody can have in their system at any sort of time. But like, I don't know how to explain it because it doesn't actually make sense to me, to be completely honest with so you. So now you just have to wait out this pregnancy? Well, no. So they took a few weeks. to They took two months, really, to get back to me about the positive result. And because I had had two pap smears within 11 months and they both tested positive for it, they were like, our routine is to do a biopsy of your cervix to ensure that you do not have cancer because some strands of HPV can cause cervical cancer. And you were going to do that today? No, on Wednesday, they won't do a biopsy because I'm pregnant now. Right. But no matter what, like I've had friends who have the same situation. They do the biopsy. It's like it's routine. They don't have cervical cancer. There's no indication of cervical cancer. There's just a positive result for so the HPV virus. Yeah. And honestly, like it sucks. Like my friends are like, it sucks. Like it's really fucking painful. It's not it's not the business, basically. And so I would have been happy to do it had I not been pregnant. And it was an option and whatever just to like have peace of mind. But now that I am pregnant, they can't do the biopsy, but they want to do something called a coloscopy, which is that thing that I described earlier, which is just sort of like a deep dive look at the cervix to make sure that all looks normal. No matter what, if something is abnormal, there's nothing they can do about it until I deliver this baby. So, yeah. So why in the fuck when I'm this upset, (laughs) do you know what I mean? Would I go through more stress on my body when there are minimal there's quote minimal risks to the pregnancy but there's also minimal risks to the pregnancy by eating jersey mics and i'm not eating jersey mics and all the fuck i want to do is eat jersey mics everything sounds disgusting to me except for jersey mics and i'm fucking starving and i'm sick we'll but i'm you. denying myself the jersey <laughs> mics because there's a slight risk why would i take the slight risk to be violently uncomfortable that i wouldn't take to be overjoyed by jersey mics do you know what i'm saying <laughs> no yeah i get it and i'm, not, Especially I'm gonna when... talk to more medical professionals because i realize my jersey mics scale isn't really <laughs> science but if you but can't I'm, I'm like upset if you can't do anything with a positive result then yeah. you're just gonna panic even more during the entire yeah. pregnancy so it's like in this case is knowledge more power no i don't know it seems it... like doom and I'm really upset. Like, I don't know if you could tell, but like, I'm genuinely upset about the fact that this is a conversation. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's it's annoying. It's annoying. Give and me a joke. And I'm that, starving. And on top of that, your dogs don't like you anymore. Oh, my God. It's going to get worse. This is going to be a sad podcast. You Wait, why? Because my dogs don't like me anymore. <laughs> really? Like, actually? Yeah. No, like, actually. What? Oh, my God. Define, define your dogs not liking you. You know, Bubs is usually all over my shit. Like that bro, that little boy like stays in my mouth. Like mm-hmm. we are cuddle buddies. Yeah. We're lovers. <laughs> <laughs> and you can shit on this if you want to. But a big part of me wanted children so that I have something to love when I lose him. Aww. That are worth, that are, it's like something to be worth living for. Do you know what I mean? I'm worried about your unborn child. Because I'm going to love him? No, because you're going to love your dogs more than. So? <laughs> I do tell Bubs every time I kiss him, I go, you're my best boy. You're my favorite boy, including William. I love what about Chris? No, Bubs is my best boy. I love the fuck out of Icky. I love the fuck out of Joe. I love my baby. Bobo is number one. I wonder who I, I probably like. Oh, I don't know. Okay. That's I'd say getting, Riley. N- Shane gets really mad if I talk about who I like the most. Right. I mean, Joe's mad because I said the dogs are probably going to take bre- taste the breast milk. And I was irritated that he wanted to. Moving on from that conversation. <laughs> Bubs doesn't like me anymore. I know, but define that. He will not cuddle me. He used to be like a Velcro dog. Like that motherfucker was like rounding my body. Like if I wasn't holding him, he was holding me. He was just touching me. He was with me. He's my homie. I go potty. He watches out for me. Make sure I'm cool. He knows you're with child and isn't interested. And that's the thing. My friend Kate was pregnant and came to the house. Bubs fucking hates Kate. Kate's the first person he ever attacked when I got him. <laughs> Kate comes over to my Maybe house I pregnant. Talk to Kate. Kate comes over to my house pregnant. Bubs loves her. 
cuddles in her arms while we're sleeping. I had to pick him up out of her arms a couple times when she slept over when she was pregnant with her first daughter and pull him back into my own arms because so I was all like, I have and to then he would crawl back to Kate. Is get pregnant for him to like me? You got to get pregnant with a girl because he doesn't like boy babies apparently. I He's been hiding from me under the couch. I pulled him out from under the couch, held him, and Is then he an wormed thing? out, and he went back under the couch. Is it because, like... No, usually when I'm crying, he cares. <laughs> and he's like, don't cry, mama. <laughs> like that. Did you think I was going to hit you? <laughs> I don't know. Right now, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just trying to do right by you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> well, at least someone is! <laughs> I will feed you. I will try to make you happy. Thanks. I can't promise what I feed you you'll like. I can't promise that either. <laughs> but yeah, so Bubs fucking hates me. I literally have footage of me like I'm holding him on the couch and like loving him. And he's just not into it. And then he goes back under the couch. <laughs> he just leaves. I'll insert it here. Okay. Um, I'm not going to try and find it. Well, we were heroes this past week. We were heroes. It was wild. Even though we're going through so much personally, <laughs> yeah. we took time out of our day to save somebody else. And let that be a lesson to all of you out in the street. And you know, we were meant to save somebody that day. We were. Because it's not every day that I say, hey, Lizzie, let's drive past my old house. In fact, you've never said and that. And see what Leona Lewis is up to. <laughs> <laughs> You might want to bleep that. Isn't your old address on the internet? No, I mean, everyone knows. Like, Leona Lewis started posting, like, photos at the house. And it kind of, I don't know if you could say it went viral. Somebody had sent it to me because I don't, I don't, like, Look. go on TikTok. Yeah. But I guess it went viral enough where then public, like, big publications were writing, like, oh, Leona Lewis lives in Shane Dawson's old house. Oh, got it. Um, So we were in the area and I said, let me just do a drive by because I did love that neighborhood. It has a special place in my heart. Keep your thoughts to yourself. Okay. <laughs> Lizzie hated it. Cause it was in the Hills. And after it was in the rain, it does it. The Hills are scary. I think everywhere in California right now, after this rain is scary Yeah, because it's just yucky and damp. Oof. <laughs> It looks haunted. It sucks. Yeah. And Crumbly. <laughs> I, I, I don't mean to laugh, but as we pull into the neighborhood, <laughs> Oh, no. It's not funny. It, we both laughed though. A, a woman biffed it. Like she's just. <laughs> you know what? It's hard not to laugh at someone falling. It just is. And so this neighborhood's a loop. And, and as we're going and, into as we're the going loop, past her falling, we were like, "Do we help?" We're like, "No, give her a minute." Like, yeah, you never want because you don't know. You don't know when if I were to fall, I might be all good. So somebody stopping their car yeah. and being like, "Are you all good?" Blow. I'd be like, "I'm fine." <laughs> but when we came back around the loop and she was still down and her husband looked distraught yeah well we she wasn't st she had scooted to yeah. the sideline and sat down lizzie's like we need to ask if they're they need if help. they're fine yeah so lizzie rolls down the window and says do you guys need help and they at said, first they're like no 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 no." and lizzie's like well no do you need help like you've been here for a minute yeah we saw you biff it and they said, we know you might need some help. Okay. Yeah, maybe like, uh, and I said, we can take you to your house or you, do you live close to here? I, Cause they're walking. We're like, you've got to be close. Yeah. And so she's like, yeah, okay, I guess. And the guy, the gentleman, her husband was so nice. He goes, can I get a ride too? Yeah, like, as if we were aww. intimidated by him. <laughs> Very sweet man. And so these strangers, they get in our car and we're driving making small talk he goes you live around here i go used to <laughs> and then he asked if ryland was who? avici no avici. not avici no yeah that's the guy who's in no Swedish alessio House. oh alessio alessio he said from are you Swedish alessio and i said who <laughs> <laughs> and he goes from swedish house mafia and i was like huh you kind of does look like alessio when we looked him up no, Alessio has like really, sh well, we both have thin hair. Also, he saw you from the back and the side. Whew, I just got dizzy. Do you want some water? Not yours. Why not? It's pretty gross. Whoa. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Do you need some help? I'm just living on the edge. Do you need me to be your hero? <laughs> Do you need a hero, baby? Are those the words? <laughs> and so he thought I was Alessio. Is that who it was? Yeah, yeah. Star Mafia. And then we had to look him up and he goes, Oh well Alessio used to live in this neighborhood. I sold or I did he they were we found out they were realtors. Yeah. Uh 
really enough about them and let's talk more about how we were heroes oh. <laughs> okay go on no, just kidding i've got nothing else to say <laughs> but we did save the day we saved the day we and you know it day. felt good to do a good deed we were in the right place at the right time it was like god wanted me to pull off yeah. and look at that neighborhood and that's really all. We yeah. just wanted to highlight how good we are. I want because no good deed really counts unless you publicize it on a podcast. Right. I immediately called Joe and I was like, I just want you to know that Raylan and I were just heroes. <laughs> um, could you tell Bubs I'm a good person and ask him if maybe he wants to cuddle later? Thank you. Okay. Oh. I've been giving him little pieces of cheese and making him look at me while I do it. Does you he... love Dune. I love Dune too. Part two. Dune really? Part it was two. good. I loved it. Yeah. It's like sitting in a sound bath for three hours. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Just the trailers. Like, I'm sure it's a great movie, but I couldn't be more bored by consuming. Just the aesthetic of that movie alone makes me just. Seepy oh. boy. I would rather see Wonka seven times <laughs> based on the trailer. I mean, alone. they're incomparable, but it's, I love it. I mean, it. they're both Timothy. Timothy. Um, <laughs> but whatever. I still don't believe him and Kylie are fucking. I do. The uh, biggest uh, news out of the movie situation, though, is that they've retired Nicole Kidman from the AMC pre. I saw both of you posted that on your story. Like you're suffering a major loss. I am. It's sad. <laughs> what? I've that never- is the cringiest, <laughs> most awkward commercial I have ever seen why in my you, life. Why do you think we love it? She's like why do you think walking we love it? in. Oh, I love the movies. Heartbreak feels good in a place like this. <laughs> I quote that every time I see a movie it's, to Eric's face. Yeah. It's like so cringy. It's iconic for Joe you guys. Joe wanted to be Nicole Kidman in that spot for Halloween. But he couldn't get his <laughs> shit together for it. I, but isn't the plot twist she's making five more? Yeah, she'll be back. <gasps> so oh, what- you're not even a real fan? You didn't even know? I didn't know. Yeah, they're retiring this segment and they're bringing back some others. With her? Yes. So they're just having her do more brilliant work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. I would hope it's less cringy than the last. Or maybe that's what's I good about it. I hope they lean into it. I wonder how much they have to pay her to show up for that I want smoldering sincerity. Spot. You know, like she's got to go to set and be like, this is beneath me. <laughs> I don't think so. She's probably making like a bag. You think? Yeah. <laughs> Like a bag. Do the theaters have that much money to be paying somebody bag like that? I feel like it's a dying breed. It is, unfortunately, but I do, I do think maybe they... Nicole just does it for the love of the art. Uh, not she's like you is, know how many eyeballs are on this. I think that's a like why, that's why she did Eyes Wide Shut, but I don't know if that's why she did AMC Preview. <laughs> You're like a little different. <laughs> I think this was like a panic effort that they did after the pandemic to get audiences back where it's like, you know, you need to see it in the cinema because Nicole Kidman said that heartbreak feels good in a place like that. <laughs> That's just my Well, point. all of your threats of rain were no good for me because my drainage guy was on it. Back to the drainage guy. <laughs> no, can't there, get, we can't get off the drainage no guy. More, no more rain made it into my crawl space. Because of this, this man, man. Heaven sent If you guys man. need a drainage uh, recommendation, the foundation and drain it. I'll, I'll have to look him up. But I'm going to I'm going to go out of my way to give him reviews on Yelp, Google, <laughs> his website. No, this man cares. It's hard to find a contractor that cares <laughs> do you hear it do you hear it does everyone hear it <laughs> whatever yeah uh my babies are doing good oh thank goodness riley tries to really suit them when they're upset which is so cute mm-hmm. unlike your dogs my dog loves my children that was really nasty i'm sorry <laughs> and since we're on the topic do you want to talk about how no, never mind. Well, you're nasty. I'll, I'm, I'm not trying to bully your baby. I'm on, the, on the brink of pulling back what I share with Lizzie because as somebody who doesn't yet have a child, she's very critical and judgmental of a lot of things. Riley? I'll send her a picture and she'll sh- she'll shame their outfits. And I'm like, <laughs> you try dressing two babies, baby. running a household, having five animals, <laughs> still working full time and dressing your kids cute. No, no, no. I just said, I'm going to say something aggressive. Uh, Don't keep and you it might to yourself. Have to bleep it. No, keep it to yourself. I'd really like to say it. No, though. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's like I can't wait for the day Lizzie has a child, and that child is dressed immaculately twenty four seven around the clock. All right. Talk to me once your 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 kid is perfectly dressed. I don't feel great about this. Do you think it's but a you pleasure to have to say these then things I to you? Her, so. Like, yes. Do you I, think I'm proud of the nasty things so I say about day, them? Like, I was trying to just sh- stretch Max 
10 minutes to like meet his nap time, but he just really wanted to go to bed. So I sit him on the couch and Riley is so cute with the babies. Like as crazy of a dog as she is, she just has her puppy energy, yeah. which she's a wild puppy. But when it comes to the babies, she's so soft and gentle and nice. Max is mommy. just like crying because he wants to be swaddled and go to bed. And I was like, 10 more minutes, Max, 10 more minutes. I'm trying to entertain him. I'm act now that their wake windows are longer. I've become a circus clown. Oh, it's good. like, you just are like, Bleh! To try to keep them like oh, stimulated. I'll never sleep again. <laughs> <laughs> nasty. <laughs> She's nasty. And so Riley it, like jumps up on the couch next to Max, and he's just like inching closer and closer, and then just gives Max a little lick like it's gonna hand. be okay max she licked his hand and so i send a picture to lizzie and she's like that boy's stiff and i was like he's crying whoa you read that wrong i did not read, you that, did wrong. read that wrong i literally did not because i literally <laughs> he's always i just said he's always locked out which is mean no it's not it's me i said he wants to walk he does want to. Max is my active boy. Like yeah. he wants. When I was holding him the other day, he was like, his legs were locked out. He was like, "We're going somewhere." That wasn't mean. That wasn't mean. I thought it. Because I took no, it mean. Well, that's on you. Because I held back the nasty <laughs> oh, thing I wanted to say about his outfit so, in that it's picture. It's so off. It's I so, literally. It's off I the table that Lizzie would say something nasty. I would when never I share say something nasty about their character. Elizabeth. I love their character. Elizabeth. Oh, I wouldn't. <laughs> Do we want to talk about? I don't want. <laughs> I called I called Jet a flathead once because he just he loves to like be on his back and I'm like why do you want a flat head Jet why I'm trying so hard to prevent the flat head and he's like I want a flat head and I was like at one point I was just like fine Jet if you want a flat head have a flat head everyone's gonna be talking about it <laughs> and literally I made fun of their pants I just need to be clear about that. No, just made fun. You were nasty. And then you are too rich and too gay for the pants that they were wearing. You Elizabeth? can do better. <laughs> do better. I can't wait to see your immaculately dressed boy. You 24 7. The first time I see him in a mismatched outfit that Joe puts him in because husbands are stupid, I am going to ring you for filth. Okay. Fine. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> okay, hot topics. I liked this one that you put in here. Kelly Osborne fought tooth and nail with her baby daddy to give her son both of their last names. And Lizzie said, I don't know if I have the patience for to have a fight and stay with that guy. Yeah. Oh, you don't know if you would have the patience. Yeah, I would I would just be like, All right, so we are no longer together so and my son's name is ours hyphenated. You're already <laughs> pregnant and then your husband says, I want the hyphen name. Her, no, so you can't her, just say that's it. I'm leaving. No, her. Yes, you can. Her because this that's a weird hill for him to die on. He said he did not want their son to have her last name at all, oh. and that's fucking wild for her to be like, I really want my son, and for her to say, I really want my son to have my last name and your last name, and for him to say, absolutely fucking not, to the point that they literally didn't give them him a hyphenated name, went to couples therapy, and a year after the baby's been here, he's finally agreed to legally change the baby's name. No, I don't have the energy for that. That's fucking wild. So Chris Kelly, agrees. Look at his face. Kelly did say, so right now my son doesn't have a double-barreled last name, but after lots of eye-opening conversations and couples therapy, he has seen the light. We're going to legally change our son's name to have both of our last names. And I just think it's interesting on a couple of fronts. One, I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong. I was bashing Love is Blind. I was telling Lizzie, <laughs> you like Doom and Dune and Love is Blind. I can't trust you anymore. <laughs> because I started watching the first episode of the newest season of Love is Blind. And I was like, this show is trash. I couldn't get into it. And then Shane continued. I like. Are I, you going to talk about the Kelly Osbourne? I'm wrapping thing? this okay. all back to okay, this. Okay, okay. So. <laughs> We're starting to watch it. I'm like, this is trash. I can't believe Lizzie likes it. I leave and go to bed. Shane finishes the whole season and was like, wow, that was crazy. Yeah. So then I was like, okay, let's give the season before a try. And now I'm like, I can't get enough is of Love is Blind. It's nuts. Because it is the most authentic reality I have seen. Granted, I watched Selling Sunset and Real Housewives of Beverly Hills <laughs> where all the yeah. fights are fake. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, this is reality yeah. TV. Like, this is the story of a girl who cried a river. You're seeing a drama authentic drama 
And I low-key think this show is emotionally abusive from the production standpoint. Yeah. Even though these people are signing up for this, at some points I'm like, we need to stop rolling the cameras. Participants because- have sued the show, and one participant threatened to take his own life if they aired any of his footage. <gasps> To the degree of which the show eliminated all of his footage from the season and you just see his female counterpart in some scenes and you wonder why she's there. But we now know why she's there because it has come out that that is what he insisted upon happening. I just can't. I mean, it's the best reality show I've ever seen because you're seeing such heightened moments and real things such as the huge conversations you have to have before uh, getting married. Mm -hmm. And I do think what's so fascinating about this show is I would say there's probably some pivotal discussions or fights in every relationship when you're deciding last names. I know like traditionally the woman would take the man's last name, but we're not living in a traditional world anymore or finances, talking about having debt, talking Mm -hmm. about where you stand financially. Mm -hmm. I just think it's so interesting to have an eye in on conversations you don't see people talking about. And so last night, Shane was saying in a previous season, he had seen uh, a couple kind of discussing, will they take which last name or have a hyphen it? And they were saying, well, that's crazy to have them be that different in a school environment or their whole life to be like, my name is for our kids. It would be like Adam's yeah. And then Shane was like, well, what are we going to do when they come to school? They already have two dads and they're different. Now Mm -hmm. you want them to have two last names and be even more different. And it's like, legally their last names will always be Adam's yeah. But then in school, will we have them just take one? Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, Oh, Shane, are we going to get in a fight about this right now? Because he wanted it to be yeah. He was like, I think it should be yeah. And I was like, you don't even go by that last name. Why would I have my kids be in school with a last name that you don't even use. It's like, well, I used it in my everyday life. And I was like, no, it's going to be Adam, sweetheart. And he's like, no, it's going to be yaw. And I was like, okay, well then I'm going to be the stay at home mom and you're going to pay for everything. <laughs> and how did that, is that how the conversation ended? He knows that I'm too ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the, just the decision on the name? We haven't come to a conclusion. I mean, their legal last name is Adam's yaw. But wouldn't you be so fucking <clears throat> irritated and hurt if, if Dawson, if Shane was like, if Shane was like, I'm never going to let my sons have your last name. Yes, I would. That's cr- See, that's why I'm like, fuck that guy. I'm so crazy turned off by that. Like, so, I could never have sex with the person who was that nasty. In me. your family, what is it going to be? It's going to be Joe's last name. Because that's what you took legally? Um, uh, No, none of my names are legal. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed this about me, but I don't have the energy to do most of the paperwork required to do something like that. But when your kid comes out, you are going to put home okay on the birth certificate. Yeah. All right. Mostly it's because, and it does hurt a little bit. I love my family name. I love my dad a lot. And like it is such a beautiful tribute and then i also this is so shallow and stupid but i heard tana mojo saying no woman has ever given like women don't get to give their last name like every woman's last name has been given to her by a man Mm -hmm. and that's kind of and it's not necessarily a hundred percent true but it's across the board very true right and i would like to honor my family by using my last name But it doesn't matter that much to me. Right. Whereas when Joe heard that the dogs have my last name at the vet, (laughs) it ruined him. (laughs) My dogs have different last names. It's whatever goes best with the kid. Like Uno is Uno Dawson. Right. Riley is an Adams. Yeah, Riley is an Adams. You know. But Joe, he's like, I went to go get him and I see the prescription says Icky, my last name. And he goes, what's up with that? And I went, honestly, I think it's just because I'm the one who handles all that. So it's my name is that so they take the last name that they see the the person they deal with and if you wanted it to be your last name you could fucking deal with it bro (laughs) so do you think hyphenates will then become the norm i don't know about what the i think it's again like it's for it's whatever works for each family like i don't really want to do a hyphenate i could see myself giving a kid my last name as their middle name but my last name's long and joe's last name is long it's too too longies. That was my argument for Shane. I was like, Adam's yacht isn't that long. No, it's like it's the not. equivalent of one last name. And he was like, I know, but it's just another thing that will make them different. But that's why, like, tying it into the Love is Blind stuff, it's just so fascinating the the big milestone blocks that you hit yeah. when building a life with someone. And in Love is Blind, they're having these conversations without ever seeing each other. <sighs> which is nuts stresses but. me out okay so sydney sweeney was on snl 
uh, this past weekend. Yeah. Uh, Did you watch? I watched the opening monologue, but then I got taken away by contractors. So I have yeah. not seen. And also, who cares? <laughs> uh, I mean, I kind of care. Were, were oh, her skits her. good? I watched none of it. Oh. Did you watch I, the opening monologue? No, I just watched this one clip. This woman looks like a movie star. She's beautiful. She is beautiful. She's beauty. She is grace. She, I. She is mumblecore. And I wish she would enunciate a little harder. If there's two celebrity women that I love, it's Sydney Sweeney and it's Sabrina Carpenter. Okay. Like they just do it for me. I get it. Yeah. You know, I fully get it. Um, and so she, what? So you remember back when they were filming, um, anyone but you? Yeah. And well, everybody, press tour. yeah. Well, everybody was like on fire. Like she's fucking her co-star. I mean, she put that out there like she honestly was, great tactic for pr i think the reason that because that movie wasn't a quote-unquote box office success out the gate it mm -hmm. became a box office success because of her the way that she promoted the film yeah. and the way that she like because it became a, a trending tag right like yeah. people coming out of the movie yeah and then her uh her fake relationship with her co-star which she was the one that was propelling that like she was posting the clips where they're flirting on the boat where they're both like yeah. almost naked and he's come out and said like i just got over a break i think it was a breakup he had just broken up with his and girlfriend. he was like i wasn't ready to be in it she's engaged so yeah. i think that was the dr this woman is a businesswoman yeah and she's doing it I think there's well it turns out she and her fiance co-produced this film together her fiance was there the entire time they were shooting there's not a chance in hell she had an affair with this guy it's crazy so they're just and back she poked there. fun about it at SNL she poked fun a lot about a lot of things she also took a jab at going to her mom's Trump themed what did she party. say she was just like I'm on this the border of Washington and Idaho so when people ask me if I went to a Trump themed party for my mom I say I don't I I I don't remember the joke, but she she really brought it up. really good. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Idaho. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, good for her. I think she's a fucking star. I love her. I, love I her. honestly love that she, she doesn't give a fuck. She also took a dig at the Madam Web. She's like, you might know me from anything, but you and Euphoria. You definitely don't know me from Madam Web because it was a box office flop. <laughs> well, they fucked that movie up hardcore. What do you mean? Um, they did reshoots to make everyone believe that it was like in 2000 shot, like that it was a set in 2003. But it's like, really, they should have done reshoots to make it make an iota of sense to be marginally interesting. Right. Um, this woman writer who I really like, she I think her name is Jen D'Angelo and she wrote Quiz Lady. She's really funny, but she had a really good breakdown of it all on her Instagram about how like the problems with Madam Web, because like Loki, I was lit for Madam Web. I was really excited really? to go see it. I really wanted to see it. And then everyone coming out of it was like, What the fuck? It's like that scene in um what's that fucking movie Princess Bride? Where they put you through the water machine and you lose years of your life. Like, that's what Madam Web is for people. <laughs> you don't get the reference. No. But I understand you, what you're saying. Yeah. I understand yeah. the visual. Yeah. Um, well, I love her. Good for her. Yeah. Uh, she's gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous girl. girl. She walked out in that fucking white dress with her boobies out. And I was like, damn. Damn. <laughs> this is a fucking movie star. I said, ooh. This bitch is a movie star. Every time I see her, I'm drooling. And that's not like in a gateway. Like, <laughs> it's in a everybody's drooling way. Okay, we've got to go try some things. It's already <gasps> been 50 minutes. We're if, trying things? If we want to go talk about any of these, we're going to have to do First, it First, I just want to say, talks. I hate DJ Khaled. Moving on. <laughs> First picture oh. of the humpback. I just, this is my quick takes. Can't we just do this while we're eating? Oh, yeah. All right, do you guys want to do go see if the Girl Scouts are out front of Ralph's and try the Girl Scout cookies? Or do you want to go try the Girl Scout cookie-inspired pancakes at IHOP? The pancakes at IHOP. Really? Yes. All right. Because what if we don't find Girl Scouts? It's a school day in the middle of the day. So they're probably not out right now, right? I, don't, I have no idea. I would say no. I feel like those girls are ruthless. <laughs> you don't think they're in elementary school right now? For some reason, I don't. <laughs> I feel like they're outside of Ralph's. No, it's, and it's their full time job. And they're like haunting me down. Like, you need to buy these. Buy these. That's something I can purchase the next time I'm at Ralph's. And yeah. then we can try it in Absolutely. studio. I love it. So we're going to order ahead at IHOP because Great. we know how to do that now. Yes, as we adults. do. <laughs> You're not going to ask me to do it, right? Because I don't. I don't know. Chris okay. does. Chris it's is a thin, IHOP. Boy. It looks good. It's Thin Mint inspired. I'm down. Pancakes. You had me at hello. 
Okay. Hey. <laughs> Hey. Do you think this was fun? I do think it was fun. Sorry okay. for being dark at the top. I just was like, it's a scary thing to go through. No, pregnancy is yeah. wild. It's just, and it's, and it's annoying. So I'm going to I'm gonna talk to some more medical professionals. But right now, I think I'm canceling my appointment. Okay, bye. Well, hey. <laughs> Today's podcast is sponsored by Stitch Fix. And they send style that is so good, you can feel it. They deliver that confidence boost that comes from wearing a truly amazing outfit without you having to do any of the work. It's so cool because you just give the stylist your size, your style, and your budget preferences. You can order boxes when and how you want to. There's no subscription required. And the stylist will send five just for you pieces, plus outfit recommendations and pro styling tips. You can keep what you love and send back the rest. It's so easy and shipping returns and exchanges are always free. I'm the kind of person that really does thrive when I feel good in what I'm wearing, but I hate to shop for clothing. So Stitch Fix truly is perfect for me. And the longer you work with them, the better the stylists get to know your style, which truly evolves your wardrobe. So get started today at stitchfix.com slash sip to achieve style that makes you feel as good as you look. That's stitchfix.com slash sip, stitchfix.com slash sip. <laughs> uh, scene one, sorry, scene one, take two, common mark. All right, the girls have made it to IHOP, and it wasn't not dramatic. <laughs> Take a look at Do you want to admit just straight up what happened? Listen, first of all, I want to say I am a woman who can admit when she's wrong, and I was feeling in my heart that I was wrong about the Tostada comment. I felt wrong. No, you didn't. I, I knew it from the get. No, you didn't. I was like, you know what, Lizzie, you're probably wrong. You should do a deep dive so that you can tell the audience. It was listed as a soap bag. A week after she was so <laughs> mad, texting me all day about it yesterday. These people, these people, these and people. That, and Go it talk takes about a really podcast. big person to admit when they're as wrong as I've been. And I am a big person. We get in the car and go, hey, Chris, do you mind just like looking to see? Chris looks and he's like, oh, all I see is that it's called a soap bag. It says soapus in the soap 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 <laughs> There's not it's even a, a tostada on the <laughs> Which menu. is really crazy. And I'm wondering, do you think it's a Mandela effect? Or do you think that, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a theologian. But I am a big enough woman to admit when I'm wrong. And guess what, guys? I was wrong. So here we are at IHOP. We have, oh, oh. I was going to say the iconic. But I don't know if this is the I'm first thumbnailing. ever. Oh. Should I be? Well, for, I mean, you can thumbnail to this camera whenever. Whatever feels right to you. Whatever feels right to me. Um, I think first, let's sprinkle the... Ooh. They, they actually put brought out real thin mint pieces. Mm. So this is the IHOP by Girl Scout Collab? I wonder if it's official or if they just bought a bunch themselves. Do you think one Girl Scout made the deal with IHOP and she gets all the profits from it? <laughs> Can you imagine? That no. mom's probably like busting at the seams. Mm. I love a thin mint. I fuck a thin mint. I like put it, I like popping them in a freezer too. I think I'm gonna, and instead of a syrup, it's like a thin mint chocolate sauce. Does it smell minty or just chocolate? No, it's minty. It's just chocolate. No. Put your finger in it. It didn't mention the chocolate in the, when you read about the thing. It's just chocolate. Yeah. So instead of syrup, it's a chocolate. Do you want to plop that on the top what first? What is this? It's just like a dollop of daisy. And there is no just syrup, is there? I don't think that was the way God intended it, Chris. <laughs> I don't know okay. what the fuck this is. Just plop it right on top. Didn't you say, what did you say this was, Chris? Uh, there's a cream cheese mousse. Oh, then that's what this is. Dang. Take a look. Oh shit, oh shit. That's okay, oh, I'm shit. gonna pour the chocolate sauce on. I hope all of you are gonna see this. Oh, oh shit. Dang. It's... Get that drainage man over here. <laughs> We flooded. <laughs> it looks gorgeous. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. No. That is beautiful. Wow. Will you open my silverware? Yes. Just because I want to hold it up good. so you can see it. I guess they'll be able to see Chris's though. Wow, Chris. Oh, fuck. Here, he did his like practical for eating, but it's not as beautiful. <laughs> Look at ours. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I want a little bit of the cream. Well, first I want to just taste this cream. This is going to kill It's me. mild. I'm gonna die from eating this. It's I, mild as fuck. It's oh, like benign. It is mild. I love that inside of this, well, it's green tie. I don't know how Lizzie feels about that, first of all. Second of all, I love that the Thin Mints are uh, cooked into the batter, mm -hmm. you know? 
Can well, I be honest? Well, yeah. Get a lot of the cream cheese and it kind of tastes like a cleaning product. <laughs> Is the pancake just normal pancake flavor no, it's just a with little green minty. dye? Oh, there's mint. Yeah. Mm. I'm not crazy about it. I'm also not crazy about it. What don't you like about it? I think it tastes like cleaning products. <laughs> well, that's just, that's Shane's same thing with mint. He's always like, all mint tastes like cleaning products. I normally like mint. Me too. I love it then. I'm not supposed to have it because of GERD, but I'm, but I you like it. You can't have mint because of GERD? Yeah. I would think mm. mint would be good for GERD because mint's good Ooh. for... Don't all of you attack me. I'm not forcing him to eat this. No, he's not. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> you put food in front of me though and I will eat. <laughs> so it's a trap. <laughs> I think it's really fun visually. Yes. Aesthetically pleasing AF. Not into it. Do you guys want to talk about the photograph of the whales having sex? Uh, hold on. Oh. I'm just, I, I, I like it. I don't know that I would order it as my first choice, but if it was what somebody ordered for the table, I would not be disappointed whatsoever. Yeah. You sit at a lot of table where people are sharing pineapples or what are these called? Pickles? What are these called? <laughs> Pancakes? Pancakes? Yeah. <laughs> Typically when I go to breakfast, I or always order like a sweet thing for the table because you I too. don't. I don't like to commit to like this as my breakfast. We're all saying, but you want to taste. But I want to taste. So then I'm like, everyone will want to taste. There's a slight bat in your cave. <gasps> I, slight. I, I love. Don't panic. Like they have pancakes with like strawberries and banana, and like I'm more into that. I fuck with a strawberry thing. I don't really fuck with a pancake. A period. Oh really? Some pancakes I really like. Not this one. <laughs> now I'm paranoid. I don't want <laughs> it to be there the whole time. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you for getting it. I feel bad. Oh no! No, there's a slight one in this one. Sorry, everyone. I'll cut the Chris's camera and cut that out. <laughs> Mm. No. Now, do you want to talk about the fil the footage of the humpbacks fucking? Mm. You guys don't like this. You want to keep talking yeah. about this? Yeah. Okay. I can just talk. You talk about that while I keep eating. Okay. Apparently, there's never been a photograph of humpback whales fucking until now. I love this. And <laughs> everyone seems to be really excited because it's two males fucking. Whoa. And apparently the last time they almost got footage of two humpback whales fucking, it was also two males. And so the internet's like, gays natural in nature. I mean, yeah, that's by, by definition, right? Hold on. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, upon, how are they made? Upon further investigation. One was injured. One was injured. And they think it was a power play where the other one was like, hate fucking their injured whale. And in the first scenario- Still seems pretty gay. That's still pretty gay. It's like, I want to get Listen, my dick I can't up say in it. I hole. can't say it, but you can. Bro, you, were just, you just like peeked in my ear. Did I really? Can you believe that? Yeah. It was like red audio. Sorry. I mean, he probably, that's still gay. No, I don't care. If, I don't care if the whale's injured. He was still like, I'm going to take advantage of this sexy ass male yeah. whale. And in the first scenario where they saw two male whales fucking, one of them was dead. What? We know Start, there. Huh? We know there's some straight whales though, because yeah. they wouldn't exist if there weren't. Right. <laughs> women are incredible. Right. We love straight women. Whales. Great. <laughs> okay. We also got the. I was like, we can't go to IHOP and just try one. I've actually never tasted like IHOPs. Do you want like, me to get rid of this? <gasps> Damn, you got a confetti thing? Of course just, you love that. Of course. I love anything like birthday cake, celebration cake themed. Yeah. I think it's very fun. It is very fun. I didn't get two of these, so Chris, you can just take the first bite. Oh. Um, is it the same... Um, let me hold this up yes, so sir. I can... Is it the same stuff? Like, is it the same... Uh, what am I trying to say? Cream cheese shit? I don't think so. This looks like a... Ooh, a frosting. A frosting cream. Wow. Oh, shit. That's... Mm -hmm. That looks like so jizz. beautiful. And that well, hold on, wait until oh, we get oh, the sprinkles. Oh, fuck. I oh, I also just love a set like a birthday cake, you know? We love birthday Confetti anything. cakes. Yeah. <laughs> mm, I love the taste profile a lot though. Yeah. Let Chris have Thank the first you. bite. I'm sorry. Oh, we're thumbing. We're thumbnailing. Here you go, Christopher. Thank you. If you want to like whoosh, you can and take some back. Oh, there. Okay. Oh my gosh, a stack is huge. Four different pancakes. I like this way more. Really? It seems like this way is what more. God intended for a pancake. Way more. Well, this, I think, is a staple on the menu. Yeah. This is like to get people idiots like us. They got there. us. There. And Look, guess what? And Here we are. Wow. This is way better. Night and day. Really? Yeah, for me. Yeah. I have to give them, though, putting in those chunks of Thin Mint. Yeah, that's delicious. That's a cake. That is cake. This is just... Confetti cake. cake. Mm. It's delicious. Wow. Mm. <laughs> it's delicious. Mm. That fucks. This isn't even a pancake. You're not going to feel good after you eat it, but it fucks. <laughs> I don't even know if they can... 
I guess pancake. <laughs> is that what it's called on the menu? Or is it the sopa? <laughs> so this is just a pan. Oh my god! I was today years old when I learned what a pancake was. It's just a cake that's in a pan that's simpler to make. It's not a sheet cake. Whoa. I snorted. <laughs> Did you all know that? Yeah. Uh, really? You, it's called a pancake. You, but you put thought into it. Like, you thought about that. It's kind of a thoughtless fact, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was amazing. It's delicious nonetheless. It is. I, it's honestly, so good. I don't think I thought about it that much, to be honest. It's not Thank something you that for you need that, to think Chris. about, though. They, I know, but have you thought about it yeah. and put the two and two together. <laughs> like, yeah. You've had this moment that I just had where it's like, oh my god. It it, it was never that much of an epiphany <laughs> for me. Well, it had to be like a cake flavor for me to have the epiphany. Got it. A regular pancake with syrup. I don't eat my cakes with syrup. Right. I eat my cakes with this kind of shit. Oh, yeah. So then I'm like, oh, confirmation. Never, right. Yeah. I get it. Okay. I also got their cinnamon bites. I don't know what these are factually called. <laughs> I've had those at Denny's and they're really good. They're whatever their version of it. It is. just I wonder if they're cream filled and then they'll it looks get, like there's cream on the side. They'll be competing with Taco Bell at that point, right? That's caramel and cream. Oh my gosh. Ooh. How could you mistake like mess up with just fried dough, caramel and whatever that is. Oh, this seems like the same stuff that's on top of the cake. So it can't be wrong. It can only be Here right. Here these are. Here you go, Christopher, grab one. Thank you very oh, much. Oh no, I'm gonna mess up this camera. Should I, should I... Mm -mm. Dunk a little caramel and then a little of the other. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. Thank you. It's kind of slutty. That was, <laughs> that was really slutty actually. <laughs> and it's making me want to be that slutty. <laughs> oh, the caramel's like thick. Big, Is it thick? thick and nasty. This looks like a, have you had a malasada? Mm. It's like a malasada. We definitely have. <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> we definitely have and we definitely got it right when we were referring to it to other you people. You mean a tostada? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it looks like that. It's basically fried dough. It looks very like. Mm. What's the dill? It's a good dill. Oh, I there's mean, nothing in it. It's just a donut. No, but it's nice fried dough. It's like freshly fried. It's a donut hole. I love it. I messed up this camera, but I love it. It's much. Oh, Chris. Chris. I'm sorry. What did Chris. I do? Hold on. It's much fresher than anything I've ever had at Dunkin' Donuts. That's for damn sure. Absolutely. Dunkin' Donuts is kind of trash. 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 If they didn't have Ben Affleck promoting them, <laughs> nobody would show up. Nobody. <laughs> ben Affleck is the draw. This is the best thing I've had today. Really? <laughs> yes. Well, I can't disagree. It's di like this is out of, like this is made to be a dessert though. It's airy. It's light. It's fabulous. It's so Mm. It is also just a donut hole. The caramel, but it's With, fresh. Right. It's not like a donut hole at a grocery store that's no. cold. Right. It's which is fresh the distinction the of fresh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I could fuck all this stuff, but I will say <laughs> I'd like to see you. <laughs> the thin mint pancakes that we came for is the less desirable of the three. Yeah, it's pretty yucky. Uh, if somebody ordered it for the table, I'd be happy. Right. Take a few bites with my eggs and my hash browns. Yeah. But these things, they fuck. Do, they yeah. fuck. They do fuck. I will admit that. Um, really quickly. Was there anything else on that document? That's what I'm trying to find out right now. <laughs> wow. I've got to take another bite of this cake. Wow, this is great. Mm. Drake offered to buy a fan's dead mother's house. Pay off the mortgage for him. And I thought that was pretty sweet. This is becoming a trend for him. Oh, he's done this before? Multiple different times. So somebody held up a sign talking about how they were going through cancer treatment. Uh huh. He gave them twenty five thousand dollars. God bless. Another person that had medical issues, he gave a hundred thousand. Wow. No way. And now this person handed him a note like, "My mother died, and I would like to be able to keep her house, but the more there's still a hundred and sixty left on the yeah. mortgage." And Drake said, "Damn, that's a lot of money. I'll pay it off for you." God bless <gasps> him. So he's like giving back to his fans in real time at his shows. He's a hero like us. A hero. <laughs> wow. That's and really cool. I guess I will not take this opportunity to exploit what was shown of him. His penis. Yeah. Didn't that <laughs> did that turn out to be not real? Probably. I don't know. He was like kind of owning it though. I mean, I heard it was worth owning. Yes. It was. Yeah. I didn't look because I don't look at You movies. don't do that. Yeah. As somebody whose penis has been looked, I feel comfortable looking if it's a man. Yeah. I did. I saw it not on purpose. It was trending on the 
platform previously known as Twitter. Right. And in the hashtags, it was like Drake, and I clicked on it, and I'm like, oh, did you drop a new song? And the first thing I saw was a man's penis. Well, how big was it, Chris? Huge. Huge. Like, he had like me. one whole hand, and there was still like three room hands. for like three more hands. Three, it was like, four, so he's got four fists full? He's, it's it's like probably like... 14. Put, put your knucks together. It was bigger. <laughs> like, he'd still, knuck, get he'd, that there'd still knuck. be like... <laughs> no! Yeah. A little bit. That's how's, why... Whoa, you guys. How's anyone fucking it's, that? It's big. That's the kind of dick where you go, I'm good. <laughs> if I'm, honestly? You're not fucking that. It's almost a curse. You're not sucking that. You're not fucking that. It's almost <laughs> a curse. I'm sorry, Drake. Sorry, Drake. Impressive in a locker room. Mm -hmm. Really? But when it comes to... Playing around? You honestly should have gotten to porn instead of rapping. Well, he wouldn't what? have made as much money. You know, I, I, that's true. And I, I probably would have been a devastating affair. Okay. What, Chris? I was gonna say I have a friend that's very, very well endowed, and he—it's so well endowed that he—it's very hard for him to stay right. It's oh, it's hard for him to stay to erect. keep that much yeah. blood it's flow so, to to keep it up. Yeah, it's a—it's like work. A lot of problems with big dicks. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the podcast. Yes. Um, Chris is now actively posting on YouTube. Make sure to check it out. I'll link him below. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Elizabeth's gender reveal went live yesterday. If it wasn't spoiled for you this past Sunday on my <laughs> vlog channel. So sorry. Um, and make sure you check out my vlogs too. Thank you so much. We love you very much. And we will see you next Wednesday. Bye. <laughs> and that's, that's the same. Same. We actually got hash browns, eggs, and sausage. And we're, we're gonna, gonna eat, eat that now. <laughs> I need it because I'm literally getting the sugar crash. And if you zoom in on my eyes, you can tell she's dead inside. Bye!